Okay, so uh, here is my bug out bag. The tent, Eureka Storm Shield, two uh, two man tent. I uh, got it pretty cheap for 100 bucks. I probably could have got a better deal, but yeah, I needed a tent at the moment. Uh, next on to our tools and equipment. Uh, first of all, we have our machete. There you go. Um, it's from Ontario Knife Company, USA. It's a rated edge on the back for sawing. Uh, nice, I think it's an 18 inch blade. Put that back here. Perfect for chopping through wood or anything like that that you need. Second, our rolled, rolled up hammock. Uh, if you don't have use for a tent or anything, just get a hammock. Snag it up to some trees, you'll be fine. I uh, have a length of rope. This is the camo rope. I think it's 50 feet or something. Here's another 50 feet of rope with a grappling hook attached for bringing down trees or setting uh, snares or whatever you need. Really don't think you can climb buildings with this grappling hook, but yeah, I never tried. Um, nylon paracord, thin cord for sna setting snares once again or anything like that. Uh, very important water purification. I have the Canadian Extreme uh, water purification model, and I'll show this to you. Take the top off, and inside is a total virus set uh, water purification cartridge. Comes with a little filter at the bottom for filtering out the yucky floaters. Then as the viral purification cartridge snapped into the top and you just put it in and screw it on. Uh, next we do have a duct tape, very very important. You can buy it at any hardware store, get some now before they're all out. Glow sticks for uh, traveling in groups at night or marking your campsite. Have these little uh, newspaper bags for putting over your feet when you're hiking. Keep it from getting wet if it's wet outside. Uh, next, we have bolt cutters for cutting through barbed wire or any other kind of obstacle that may be in your way. Of course, the trusty screwdriver. This one has removable heads, interchangeable heads. I also have a regular one as well. Uh, trusty hammer for cutting up tents, setting up snares, setting up your hammock, whatever. The hammer, we know one, we need one. Uh, also, I have a couple different flashlights. Two different uh, military style and a regular flashlight. Some extra batteries here that are just free floating actually. I have a bag over there that contains most of my batteries and these are just free floating for some reason. Oh well. Uh, we have a short wave, short wave uh, radio which also tunes into TV stations. Um, AM, FM has a weather receiver, it has a light on it and an alarm. And the cool thing about it, it is powered by this dynamo that you can wind up here on the side or you can put in batteries in the back. Uh, on to important things like clothing, I have a week's worth of underwear and socks and uh, plastic bag ziplock to keep them safe from moisture. Um, a couple t-shirts, it's always good to, it's good for your mind and your mental faculties to feel clean as well as be clean. So you need uh, clean shirts and underwear and socks. I also have thermal underwear, tops and bottoms, and more socks over here. There. Uh, now one of my favorite parts of the bug out bag is my K-Bar uh, survival knife. 
to climb above the Comes with a nice plastic sheath. In the broader society, the opposite It'll pop off there, very easy to any other place on Earth. get out. So uh, this one has the so serrated edge. That what passes for the middle class in America could pass Made in the USA. In most of the rest very of the nice. And actually, have a sharpener around here somewhere. Um, this K-Bar has the rubber polymer grip. I actually do prefer the leather pommel or the leather grip on the pommel here. Um, because this feels like it could get slippery if you get wet or you get oil or blood upon your hands from cleaning an animal. But uh, yeah, that's my favorite part of the system because I like it nice. And here is a nice little sharpener I bought online at Cheaper Than Dirt. You just uh, put it over your hand like this and run it across the top of your blade like so. And it's sharp. Uh, I have a safari hat which is nice. Uh, things uh, in these plastic bags, I have a bag full of batteries, all different types and sizes. For my flashlights and whatnot, I have two of these bags. They're filled with liquid. Uh, they are one is witch hazel and one is rubbing alcohol for cuts and bruises and things. I keep them in plastic so if they break or something, they uh, won't get all over the place. I also have some uh, bath gel nice bath gel uh, keeps for a long time and it's gonna come in useful come in handy when you're bugging out uh, on to other things wine tool very very important um, eating utensils I find this pretty cool thing online and this is a Swiss or German military eating uh, mess utensil kit toothbrushes bar soap deodorants, toothpicks, the savior of my life, uh, condoms, toothpaste, uh, mini lighters, gotta have a lot of lighters in your back, uh, see here, bug spray, very very important if you're on the wild, this is the kind without DEET, oh that's the kind with DEET, you can get the kind without DEET and it actually stinks a lot less. Um, binoculars, compass, synthetic compass, sort of GI style, has a viewfinder and everything. Uh, maps of the area, as you can tell I'm from. Um, well, fire steel, I have a couple of these laying around in the bag. Very, uh, very nice, very important. Some, uh, Hexamine and triaxane fuel tablets to keep things warm or light them up. Storm matches and storm matches in a waterproof container with a little o ring and a striker on the bottom. Playing cards and that is the basics for my bug out bag. Also, if you look over here, I have water purification tablets, very important, and some Cottonelle Fresh uh, Moist Wipes for uh, <laughs> using the bathroom right there. Uh, I also have a very, very cool um, first aid kit I bought online. It pops open into three different parts, and it has various... Uh, first aid materials inside the bag. Flip it over and clip it. Um, and yeah, that's just uh, also at the bottom section of my bag. I have a small space that's I use for keeping food stuffs. You'll see here. I also have my mess kit. Granola bars, uh, fruit leather, tuna, which is not in the can but in this little packet, which is pretty cool. 
Um, yeah. So, other than that, that's my bug out bag. And I'll probably be adding a few more things on. But uh, that's the basics. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions or anything constructive, let me know.